Live Aid, and it was this very surreal moment where he said, oh, that's nice, yeah, I might do that again. So the tables turned, just for a brief second, I got a chance to teach Brian May, uh, which was surreal. Question over there. Yes, please. That's a great story. You must have many great stories, I'm sure. Yeah. Check out the WhatsApp group. We will, now that we know. Il euh, y a eu ces derniers mois pas mal d'inquiétudes sur euh, le traitement du sida, de l'homosexualité dans le film. Euh, je voulais savoir s'ils s'attendaient à ces critiques, ces inquiétudes plutôt, et s'ils les ont compris. Il y a eu récemment des concerns dans la presse que l'AIDS n'était pas vraiment approché trop, ou que la homosexualité n'était pas approché trop. Qu'est-ce que vous pensez sur ça uh, well, I, yeah, I saw that and uh, I think something came out that I said uh, in an article that I think I, uh, I, I was speaking to a journalist at that same time, which was months ago, and obviously you know the delay of uh, articles coming out. Um, uh, it, it was felt a bit awkward of, of having someone judge that off of a one-minute uh, teaser of a trailer that was 98% music. Uh, so I, I think clearly we we didn't make the movie where you see the gratuitous, salacious aspect of Freddie Mercury's life. I don't want to make that movie, uh, especially the, with this sounds odd, but the relationship that I have to him now, all I want to do is celebrate him. And I think in, in what we do and the way that we gently and elegantly touch on those subjects brings, uh, brings the, the magnitude of uh, how joyful he is to, to life. It, it just lifts it up. Um, and... Uh, that's, that's the film that we wanted to make, a, purely a, a celebration of Freddie Mercury. And pointing those things out, showing them elegantly, like I said, only elevates his story and, and, and his relationship to us. And it's also, I mean, a, a film about really, that's how I, I felt and I'm sure many did, about the actual creation of that unique sound, about the bonding and the theme of the family which I think is very important. I mean, that's how I felt. Yeah. Is that also, you felt family was also one of those main themes, right? Absolutely. I mean, <clears throat> the thing that made Queen so unique and so successful is that there were four incredibly talented, virtuosic uh, um, musicians, uh, but whose talent only really worked when they were together. They, they all tried at various times to go down solo uh, paths and it didn't, really work for them they kept coming back to each other because that's where their strength lay and uh i think um to kind of continue from what rami was saying but also to uh include what you were um adding it would belittle the, the individual it would belittle freddie mercury to make it a film about aids specifically or a film about being a gay man specifically it is he, is a complex story um and you know it all added up to this individual man who was trying to work out who he was as an immigrant child, as a bullied child, as a, as a man working out his sexuality, as someone who had AIDS. That was all part of one human being. He never wanted to put himself into a box. And I think that was the same for every member of the band for different reasons. They were all outsiders um, who were looking for a sense of belonging. And they found that belonging in the band. And I think that their ability to speak to the outsiders in the audience, the ones who feel they don't belong, is again what gives them a great, it's what gives them a great connection to their crowd and, and great popularity, I think. I, I agree. Uh, he finishes my thoughts. He had me at hello. <laughs> um, but no, seriously, uh, I think he, what, what I'm uh, taken by in this man is a, a young man who you know, is essentially an immigrant uh, with very unusual features that made fun of as a kid, bullied as a kid, uh, conflicted about who he was and his identity, his name, his sexuality. And there's something 
that he's longing for. And I can I read it in his lyrics. I see it in, in, in his music, hear it in his music. And uh, the sense of, of wanting to discover his place in the world. And, and in, the, in the journey of making that discovery, there's a fire that's burning within him and it's ready to explode. And when he gets to a place where that happens on stage, it's almost as if he shares that, that with the audience, that, that beautiful magnetic violence that's erupting inside of him is a, a unifying factor with everyone who is watching. And together, it's as if they're elevating each other to say, you know what? We all do belong, and we all can be exactly who we want to be. Thank you so much for sharing this with us tonight. Thank you all for being here tonight. Testify! <laughs> yeah, exactly. We, we could almost sing, stumble all that, but we're not as good as you are. Shall we just give a clapping oh, hand? Yeah. Come sure. on. Sure.